Jake was one of the oldest engines on the island of Sodor. Despite his age, he strived to do all of his work and set an example for the railway. Every day, he made sure to give his all in everything he did. The other engines were impressed by his dedication. How do you do it? They would ask. Hard work and perseverance, Duke would reply. His grace wouldn't want anything less. Scarlo and Reneus were also load engines, even older than Duke. They were worried about him. I'm concerned about Duke, Scarlo told Reneus one afternoon. I've noticed that he's pushing himself really hard lately, perhaps too hard. He isn't the fittest engine in the shed, so I'm worried that something might happen to him. It isn't healthy for any engine to work too hard, Reneus agreed. We need to make sure Duke doesn't overwork himself, or he might get himself into trouble. Indeed, I'll tell him when I have the chance, replied Scarloey. Scarloey's chance came sooner than expected, when he met Duke at the next station. Ah, Duke, I've been looking for you. I need to talk to you. Duke was puzzled. What about? I've noticed how hard you've been working lately, and how dedicated you are to your jobs. You're a very old engine, so I'm worried that you'll break down if you continue at this rate. Nonsense, Huff Duke. I've been pulling trains for years, and not once have I broken down. Scarloey remembered the story of when Peter Sam had to rescue Duke on their old railway, but decided not to mention it. You know, back when just Reneus and I were on this railway, we had to work our wheels off to keep the line afloat. When I got worn out, Reneus had to run the whole railway on his own, and he worked so hard that he had to get an overhaul. I see, replied Duke, but he really didn't. When was the last time you've had an overhaul, Duke? Scarloway inquired. When I joined this railway, 20 years ago. I'd say it's about time you have another one, then, Scarloway suggested. You'll feel much better after one, trust me. And abandon my jobs for who knows how long? I think not. Duke left the station abruptly, leaving Scarloey more concerned than ever. The next day, Duke was scheduled to pull his usual passenger train. It ran every day at tea time, and it was the train Duke always looked forward to the most. That day, however, he felt a cramp as he creeped out of the shed. Oh, oh he wheezed. Are you alright, Duke? asked his driver. Yes, quite alright. Nothing an old dog like me can't handle. At first, Duke's train ran smoothly. But the further he went, the more he would wheeze. By the time he reached Glenock, he was out of breath and gasping ferociously. Duke, are you sure you can pull the train to the top station? asked his driver. Yes, insisted Duke. The passengers need to get home. You're right, replied his driver. But as soon as we reach the next station, I'll have to check what's wrong with you. But they never got that far. There is a steep section of track before the next station. It usually only proves troublesome in winter, but this time, it caused trouble for old Duke. Come on, come on, he hissed, as he panted up the hill. Steady, old boy, replied his driver. Duke inched forward, puff by puff, until... Bother, sighed Duke. We were almost there, too. His crew inspected him. That's done it, they said. Your piston burst. Now we'll need to wait for another engine to rescue you. That was the last thing that Duke wanted to hear. Soon enough, another engine arrived to push Duke to the next station. Duke was dismayed to find who it was. Are you alright? Scarloey asked. I will be, once the passengers reach their destination, replied Duke. Scarloey chuckled and began to pull the train. Neither Duke nor Scarloey spoke as the cavalcade puffed along. 
Duke felt rather ashamed of himself. Then he remembered what Scarloe told him earlier. Perhaps, he thought, Scarloe was right after all. When they finally reached the station, Duke spoke up. Thank you for getting my passengers to their station, he said. Of course, replied Scarlowy. Not a problem. You know, I've thought about what you said earlier, and I realize that I do need an overhaul, replied Duke. I was silly to push myself so hard when I wasn't feeling well. Everyone deserves some time off, said Scarlowy. Especially you, since you've been working so hard. The thin controller was happy to arrange an overhaul for Duke. It took a few months, but when Duke returned, he felt like a new engine. Of course, he was just as dedicated to his work as before. The other engines were even more impressed. How do you do it? They would ask. Hard work and perseverance, Duke would always reply, and an overhaul from time to time. <laughs>